Hey there coaches, welcome to day six of our Rock Your Biz Boot Camp. Loved seeing all the responses yesterday for creating your own five things that you're going to post about your content for social media. That was a lot of fun and I promise you that doing all this work up front is going to help you save a lot of stress and agony in the long run because this is going to get you organized and have a plan out there for you. So today, I wanted to talk about scheduling your first challenge group. Now, as Beachbody coaches, we run challenge groups every single month. This is literally the lifeblood of our business, the building block. You want to make sure that you're hosting challenge groups every single month. But starting out as a coach, I know it can be kind of intimidating and kind of scary. So what I like to do is have all the new coaches on the team host a free clean eating challenge to start out. Now, the clean eating challenge is only a week long, and what I've done is I already put together all the resources for you guys, everything from the flyer to the post for the Facebook group to the meal plan, and I even wrote up a little invite for you guys so that you can send it out and tell your friends about it. Um, so I'll provide the resources in um, the comments with this video so you guys can have all of that. Um, but really, guys, I want you to just remember and... Put in your brain that challenge groups are the lifeblood of your business and you need to be hosting them every single month. Um, the reason why we do clean eating challenges or free challenges is because it's a good way for you to get comfortable hosting a challenge group, um, you know, as a coach. And it's a great way for people to see what services that you offer as a coach. And it also helps them realize how much of a difference that accountability and support of the group can, you know, add. I did a free clean eating challenge um, last year. I actually um, had 160 people, I want to say, that did it. These were all people that I met um, on Facebook or Twitter or wherever. And, I mean, I might have had a few friends in there or whatever. But it was a huge group. And a lot of those people have turned into customers um, that have done beach body challenges with us or turned into coaches on the team. Um, and the thing is, is that these people didn't know me at first, but once they were in the challenge group, they got to know me. Like I said, they got to see how the extra accountability and support, um, you know, helped them out on their journey. And then they saw what I was sharing on my page every day about Shakeology and the Beachbody workouts and stuff. So a lot of them got curious about what I was doing because they were seeing my results with it and the results that I was sharing about that, you know, our clients and stuff were having. So... These things are going to be epic for you guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide of what to say when you're inviting someone and then what you say when they respond so that you can help them get started. Um, and then I also want you guys to um, keep in mind that once this clean eating challenge is over, we're going to invite these people to another challenge group, but this time it's going to be a beach body challenge group. So this being your first Beachbody Challenge group, what we're going to do is work together to help you transition those people to the Beachbody Challenge. And you will join um, your sponsor's challenge group and act as an apprentice coach. So you'll basically, you won't have to do this group by yourself. Your sponsor will be running the group and you'll be in there. You can add your clients in there and you know you guys can just make sure that you're helping out with the group and posting every day. So there's actually a guide that I'm going to give you guys also in the comments below of exactly how to transition people from one challenge to another. It makes it step-by-step -step super simple and easy. And also make sure that you're working with your sponsor if you come across difficulties when you're trying to you know, transition people and invite them to your next group. And one last thing that I did want to mention is for you guys to keep these four things in mind. Um, I heard this on the National Coach Call I think a week ago or so. Um, Trina Gray is a 15-star diamond coach. She's amazing. She received the CEO award at Summit. She has an awesome heart and her challenge groups rock. So she talked about these four things that you want to keep in mind when you're inviting someone to coaching or a challenge group. So number one, you want to, well first of all, you want to personalize your invites. You don't want to just send out a mass invite to a big group of people. You want to send out individual invites and make it personalized. You know, say, hey, Sally, how's it going? I saw your pictures. You know, you and your kids went to the zoo. Y'all looked so cute. I'm glad you guys had a good time. And then you want to tell them these four things. And don't worry, I'll include this with the post. Number one, what's in it for them? You know, how they're going to benefit from it. 
Number two, what you loved about doing the group and how it helped you. Number three, why you thought of them. And number four, anything that their objection might be. So what I'll do instead of explaining this in the video is I'll leave an example in the comments so that you guys can look at that. Um, so all the resources that I just mentioned, I will leave in the comments below. So your biggest takeaway for today is you have to host challenge groups every single month in order to build your business and help people. And what we're going to do is we're going to start a clean eating challenge together and we're going to rock that, help a bunch of people, and then we're going to invite those people to our next challenge groups and help them even more. So for your homework today, I want you to make a list of 20 people to invite to your challenge group, and I want you to pick the date that you're going to host your challenge group. I highly recommend starting on Mondays because it's a lot easier. So I would say that probably starting two Mondays from this one would probably be a good thing unless you've already picked your date out. Um, because that way you have enough time to prepare, post your flyer to advertise, and talk to people about it. Um, so, two things for your homework. Post your list of 20 below, and post the date that you're going to host your challenge. Um, reach out to your sponsor if you have specific questions. We will help you along every step of the way with this, and I'll post all the resources in the comments. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.